Hello friends, so in today's lecture we are going to talk about unit 6 especially photosensory biology in which we are going to talk about the phytochromes which is an essential photoreceptor in plants for their photomorphogenesis. So this is something about my CSIR note which is printed if you want then you can contact me. Now first of all what is photomorphogenesis? Split the words photo and morphogenesis. Photo means light especially a sunlight and morphogenesis means formation of more formation of different different organ so the full term is suggests that the formation of different different organ via or by the implement implementing of light or photo so light is an important for photosynthesis but it is also necessary for plant growth and development so light is not only for making a food or photosynthesis but also it is responsible for plant growth and development and formation of different different organ the light mediated growth and development in the plant is called photomorphogenesis light act as a signal to initiate and regulate the photomorphogenesis so ultimately there is some receptor present on the plant in cell wall so they can capture the light and start their uh, responsible cascade so three types of receptor are found in plant which is a phytochrome which is a red and far red light receptor cryptochrome which is a blue light receptor three types of cryptochrome cry1 cry2 and cry3 and phototropin which is also a blue light receptor it contains two types phot1 and phot2 so three receptor are there in which we are talking about phytochromes so phytochrome it is a photomorphogenic pigment absorb red and far red light and cause a photomorphogenesis found in most plant now what it regulates it regulates the growth and development like induction of flowering seed germination and stem elongation so three work the phytochrome is doing induction of flowering one second is seed germination and third is stem elongation phytochrome consists a chromophore group which is known as phytochromobilin this you have to remember now if we going to see the structure this is the structure of phytochrome typical structure it contain n terminal and c terminal in n terminal a photosensory domain is present and in c terminal regulatory domain is present so in n terminal a pass domain gaff domain and phi domain is there and between the n terminal and c terminal a hinge region is also there in regulatory domain a prd a prd dimer is there and hkrd histidine kinase regulatory domain are present so histidine kinase is present in phytochrome as well as if you remember ethylene signaling in which the uh, histidine kinase receptor domain is also present so phytochrome pigment found to be present in two photoreversible form so different form are present in phytochrome pigment so first form which absorb the red light And the second form is absorbed the far red light. Now, which form is active form and which form is inactivated form? So, when the photo, when the phytochromes receive a red light, then it converts PR form to PFR form. Here you can see PR to PFR form. And when the far red light is present, the PFR form, which is the active form, is converted into PR form. So, ultimately, red light is absorbed by PR form. And this PR form is converted into PFR form, which is an activated form of phytochromes. But far red light, which is the inhibitory light, it is received by PFR form, which is active form, and it converted into PR form. Back here, you can see the PR form is inactivated form. It absorbs the red light and become active and doing the photomorphogenesis by initiating the transcription in going to the nucleus and binding with DNA. But PFR form is active form. Now, if it if it get a far red light, then the PFR form is converted into PR form, which is high in day, high in night, and low in day form. Now, there is two type of phytochromes: type one phytochrome and type two phytochrome. Type one phytochrome also known as the inhibitory phytochrome, and type two phytochrome it is an activated phytochrome. So, ultimately, type one phytochrome will receive far red light to inhibit the reaction and type 2 phytochrome receive the red light to active the process now why they receive the far red light because they are light sensitive and it inhibits the transcription of phi domain mrna degradation is occur 
and mainly function in dark so in dark the far red light is higher in compared to the red light so type 1 is activated by far red light and the main type in type 1 is phi a this you have to remember the phi a receives the far red light and also somehow blue light but if we talk about the type 2 phytochrome it is a light stable and present in day and night both mainly function in night they are the activated phytochrome they are mainly responsible for photomorphogenesis the type is 5b 5c 5d and 5e in which 5b is predominant type 2 activated by red light now we talk about that inhibitory form activated form now what actually they do if we know about that transcription is occur based on transcription factor so if transcription factor is present the transcription occur and the process is going on so ultimately here we are going to inhibit or activate the transcription factor not other things so we are going to talk about some molecules first is cop1 if we saw the full form of cop1 constitutive photomorphogenic one it is nothing but a e3 ubiquitin like case which involve in targeting protein for 26 proteasome mediated degradation if we know about the in protein degradation we require the ubiquitin tag the tag is implemented on the target protein it is going to the degradation so cop1 is nothing but a targeting protein which target the any protein to degrade what what protein it is a transcription factor inhibit the photomorphogenesis in dark so in dark very where far red light is high so ultimately the pr form is high and compared to the pfr form which is inactivated form pr form so the red light is not there and hence the cop1 is targeting the our transcription factor and cleave it and don't allow it to go to the nucleus and transcription the process so in dark the presence in nucleus and in light is present in cytoplasm which we are going to see in next few pages now second molecule is hy5 which is a transcription factor so cop1 is act on hy5 which is a transcription factor hy5 is a transcription factor that is a key regulator of photomorphogenesis in phytochrome pathway in light now in light the in light where red light is present hy5 protein level is higher and in dark where far red light is present so in far red light hy5 is low and hence the photomorphogenesis is not occur the whole process is going like that so in night in night due to presence of far red light so the molecule pr to pfr form is not occur but pfr which is active form is converted into pr form so ultimately no photomorphogenesis is occur so what cop1 is do cop1 is present in nucleus and binding with power one and mediate the ubiquitin ligation of hy5 and ultimately degrade the hy5 by e3 ubiquitin 26 proteasome mediated degradation where in light in night where far red light is present which is the inhibitory light so as the hy5 is degraded so no photomorphogenesis will occur now see in dark pr to pfr form is absent so cop1 remain in inactive form and remain attached to hy5 in nucleus and mediate it cleavage so no transcription occur no photomorphogenesis is occur so cop1 remain in nucleus in dark cop1 function as an e3 ubiquitin ligase and target hy5 for degradation by 26 s protein system no photomorphogenesis due to the lack of transcription protein less hy5 present in dark now in light where the red light is present what happen the transcription must happen so the cop1 senses the red light and moves into the cytosol slowly slowly as it move into the cytosol it free the hy5 now free hy5 going to bind with the dna specific sequence and mediate the transcription translation and protein formation so the photomorphogenesis will occur when occur when in it is present of red light or in the day so in light the conversion of pr to pfr form is high so cop1 is activated so it will detach from hy5 and moves outside the nucleus by nuclear transport hy5 is free and now bound with its target site and mediate transcription and result in photomorphogenesis so ultimately what happens in light in the presence of when i said light it means a red light the pr which is inactivated form is converted into pfr form which is an activated form now this form lead to the photomorphogenesis 
तो कोप वन इज मूविंग आउट साइड ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस एंड एच वाई फाइव इज फ्री इन टू न्यूक्लियस एंड मेडियट द फोटोमोर्फोजिनेसिस बट इन डार्क और इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फार रेड लाइट द पी आर टू पी एफ आर फॉर्म इज एबसेंट बट पी एफ आर विच इज एक्टिव फॉर्म इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू इन एक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म विच इज अ पी आर फॉर्म एंड हैंस द कोप वन डोंट सेंस द लाइट एंड कोप वन इज रिमेन प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस एंड एज इट डू इट्स वर्क इट बाइंड विद एच वाई फाइव विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पा वन एंड मेडियट द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ एच वाई फाइव सो देर इज नो प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच वाई फाइव इन न्यूक्लियस एंड हैंस द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इज prevented prohibited and hence photomorphogenesis is not occur so this is all about the phytocrops i hope you understand jai hind jai bharat